Oh my god. I need parental supervision already. Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. And oh my god, <laughs> my cat ears, where have they gone? Lately, I've been seeing a lot of ads for a steam off nail polish remover. So many ads that it's like the universe is telling me to buy this steam off nail polish remover. Either that or Mark Zuckerberg is listening to my cell phone data. I've also seen a lot of you guys asking me to test this thing out and I get it. You basically want me to sit through testing every single weird, strange nail polish removing product out there and see if it gets the simply analogical seal of approval. Because so far, none of this crap has. As you may recall, we've tried a number of gimmicky nail polish removing products on this channel. Spray nail polish remover. This is, this is a terrible idea. Nail polish removing cream. But this is really messy. Kind of nasty. <laughs> it's coming off onto your finger. And more recently, paint stripper. Do you think my nails are gonna fall off? I don't know. <laughs> Some of these have been better than others, but they're all just basically different degrees of bad and unnecessary. But one method that I have not tried yet, if you can believe that there's something left out there, is steaming off my nail polish. So what about it? Does this thing work? Is it a gimmick? or a Gucci. Let's find out. So as with many of these gimmicky seeming nail products, there are multiple listings on Amazon. Sometimes it could be the same product under different sellers or the same product with different branding on different listings. Steam gel nail remover machine nail steamer for acrylic nail gel polish dip powder removal with stainless steel cuticle pusher. Who wrote this wish? Buy with confidence. In normal use, if your machine cannot works well, please contact us and we will resend a new one to you because of we are honest seller. Yeah, normally I really trust products whose first bullet point is if it doesn't work, <laughs> we'll send you another one. So basically you shove your hand into this dome and it steams off the nail polish. Oh my God, those red nails look familiar. Here's another listing. Nice, we got a video. I should mention that this product also kind of went viral a few years ago. I remember Graveyard Girl's video back in 2015, but it seems like recently it's resurfaced in popularity in Facebook ads. Some of the Amazon listings say that they're second generation versions. Generally speaking, these steam off nail polish removers are intended for use with gel polish, which if you did not know, has a different removal process from regular nail polish because gel nail polish is a much stronger, harder kind of resin that needs a stronger solution to eat through it, to get rid of it. So while it's pretty easy to remove regular nail polish with nail polish remover in a cotton pad, just wiping it off, that's not enough to work with gel polish. To remove gel, you usually have to do one of a few different options. You could soak the gel nails in acetone for a really long time. You could also soak the nail in a cotton pad in tin foil. People literally drill off gel, or some people like to scrape or pick off their gel nails. Basically, gel nail polish is kind of a pain to remove, and I totally get why people are always looking for an easier way to take it off. All right, enough research. Let's unbox my new toy. Steam off gel removal. System. Ooh, instructions. That's German. Warning, keep away from children. Good thing I don't have any. What's this? <gasps> Electrical power. Wait, so am I plugging in Acetone, which is a highly flammable solution. Like the plastic bag drifting through the wind. Oh, look, it's a hat. <laughs> Four or five millimeter of gel remover, milliliters, not meters, <laughs> or a hundred percent acetone in the plastic bowl. A hundred percent acetone. Because we like the hard shit. Oh my god. Connect with power supply and then touch the power button to turn on the heat red light. Wait minutes for the removal solution to heat up. Wait minutes. Plug it in, please don't explode. So I prepped some gel polish swatch sticks last night because I wanted the polish to be completely dried. And yes, obviously, I'm not just gonna... Hello? And yes, obviously, I'm not just gonna throw my own hand into this black hole first without doing any form of experiments on something other than myself. So we're gonna start with these swatch sticks because if they disintegrate and never come back, then 
At least it wasn't me. The instructions say to file the top coat off the gel polish first. So we're going to use Susie's special nail files. And I think most nail techs who remove gel polish would normally file down the top layer of gel polish anyways, just to make it easier for the acetone to penetrate through the top layer and start eating away at the gel. But what do I know? I only got 65% on my nail tech exam, so. The device is ready, the green light is on, and it says steam. I'm not hearing any steam. Am I supposed to do something? Oh. <laughs> Don't melt. Within eight or 10 minutes, the gel will be soft enough to be removed easily. So this takes eight to 10 minutes of just, oh my God, it is steaming. <gasps> what is happening? Wait a second. On second thought, it doesn't look like there's any steaming actually going on in here. I think the swatch stick just turned like this because I guess it's a reaction of the acetone and the plastic itself. But I'm not seeing any steam. I'm not hearing any steam. I'm not blowing off any steam, so. Ready? So nothing came off, but it says to use a nail pusher or orange wood stick to gently remove any remaining gel when you have finished steaming. <laughs> you do not want to have to force something this much off your nail. Because if you have to force this hard, you're going to end up peeling off your natural nails like this. And that's no bueno. Obviously, plastic doesn't really do well in this acetone steam environment. That's my guess. I'm assuming that your fingers, bones, skin, and body parts aren't going to disintegrate in this. But I also have no idea. So that's why we're going to test on Ben first. <laughs> ben! Please leave a prayer for Ben's hands down in the comments below. So you're gonna tell me why you painted my nails last night? Yeah, just just don't look at these. It's fine. <laughs> um. So Ben, you wanna take that nail polish off? Uh huh. Well, I've got just the product for you: steam off nail polish remover. Steam it off with, with water? With acetone. <laughs> Wait, no way. We're not doing like this whole paint stripper thing again. First, we heat. Let me just make sure there's enough. Perfect. Those are the other dead bodies yeah, floating some. in there. <laughs> so the reason why we're testing on you first before me is because you're wearing gel polish. I'm not. That's sure. the reason. Sure. <laughs> what am I doing here? Now that the light is green, it's time to steam. <laughs> Next. Your makeup looks nice today. You look like the, the hottest soccer mom picking up their kids from school. When you wear lipstick, I always think you look a little more mature. Are you saying I look <laughs> old? Anyways. How old are you now? 30. <laughs> Place your five fingers into the finger cap. But like not into the acetone. Into the holes. Oh, it's like a sauna in here. I cannot feel. Wait, are you numb? <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. That's not good either. I feel like I might pee my pants by well, no, Don't do that. Did you ever do that to someone? No. At like a sleepover? No. You just put their hand in warm water while they're sleeping. Okay, so you were supposed to sit there. It's getting steamy. For eight here. to 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes? Yeah. What do we have to have a conversation? No, we could just sit here. <laughs> Do you ever think that making YouTube videos has just made you worse at having conversations with people in real time? Mm -hmm. I think we spent so much time filming videos and editing them that like I was having a conversation with someone the other day and I was thinking in my head like <laughs> how I could edit out the boring parts of the conversation. <laughs> Imagine you could do that in real life. Uh, That's what I wish for. That's what I want my superpower to be. <laughs> edit yeah. people. You know, slow things down, speed things up, cut things out entirely. Because there are times like I'll say something and I just think like, oh, I should say that again. We'll get a better take. And like, <laughs> like no, I'm just talking to somebody. I do that too in meetings yeah. sometimes. <laughs> or someone will ask me a question and I just won't answer. Yeah. Because I just feel like that question wasn't relevant. So let's continue. <laughs> and then I was gonna, I was just going to cut that out. <laughs> I think we're, ben, to, we're going a little crazy. <laughs> we can't function as humans anymore. Okay, we've said too much. <laughs> it's ready! <laughs> <gasps> Holy shit. It actually worked. <laughs> Yo, your nails are wet. Don't light a match. <laughs> I wasn't planning on 
smoking up. But like so. that's that's what seems really strange to me. Like essentially, my hands are just covered in alcohol now. Yeah. Or at least it's a the party. <laughs> You only put one coat of pink on my nails. Yes. Normally you'd have at least two coats of the colored part of the polish. I only put one because it covered really well. And one criticism I have seen about the Steam Off Gel Nail Polish Remover is that if you have more than one coat of gel polish, it doesn't work as well. So maybe you just got lucky that I only did one coat. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of exploded off in a weird way. It kind of reminds me does of- Does that the... give you traumatic <laughs> memories? <laughs> Both of these cases were gel polish, but how will it work on regular polish? Oh God. Heat it up, boy. This is a steam off nail party. Like, we you don't want to be breathing this in, right? Oh yeah, that's what this is for. <laughs> I guess the other concerning part is like, this seems like a shitty piece of plastic with some electronics in it that's full of highly flammable acetone. <laughs> I would not leave this on unattended. Let's unplug it when we're done. I don't trust its ghost energy. What? You know when you leave something plugged in and it uses like ghost energy? Phantom power? That's what it meant. <laughs> Halloween's over. There's no more ghost energy around. All right, get it, girl. I gotta go. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting out of this. Dip your finger in. Sometimes you have to take the risks. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it hurts my eczema. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> really? I thought it felt kind of nice and warm. Why don't you do something about that? You can't, Ben. Is there no cure for eczema? No. <laughs> This is not that like ergonomic. Feels like it's too wide. Like my pinky finger is being stretched uncomfortably. <laughs> Yours fit fine? Yeah. Gendered, like the iPhone. The iPhone? It's too big for my hands. <laughs> <laughs> the stinging has subsided. Okay. <laughs> You're just numb. Yeah. That's what you do on like a wound. You would cover it with alcohol, right? Yeah, it stings for the first 20 seconds and then you forget about it. That's, mm -hmm. that's what happened. I'm cleaning my wounds. That's right. <laughs> How much was this? Like $45? It's this a tax write-off, right? Yeah. You don't have enough expenses. You know when people talk about like, rich people need to pay their fair share of taxes? The real issue is like these big corporations using loopholes to just avoid paying taxes. They're writing off capital assets. People always use this example of Amazon not paying any tax just because they're finding ways of writing things off, which is crazy. But in terms of people, there's a, not that high a threshold for personal taxes that you're paying like half your money to the government. We're paying our employer, who then pays us. It's true, we also <laughs> work for the federal government, so it's kind of like we pay taxes to the government, then we just get paid We paid our back. We pay our own salary. <laughs> when you're complaining about rich people paying taxes, I actually think it's a little misguided. I think the biggest issue is wealth. People who inherit wealth without working for it. There's so many, like the US is practically an oligarchy, right? You have these families that are just passing down wealth between generations. So you have generations of people who haven't really meaningfully contributed anything to society, but they're sitting on billions of dollars. And then their money just sits in investments accounts and making more money while people just speculate on the stock market. That doesn't do anything to like move society forward, but those are the people with the most money to lobby governments and determine fiscal policy. Or anytime you see someone described as like an heiress or Paris like Hilton. an heir. Yeah, like <laughs> people like that. So what you're saying is if you work for your billions of dollars, then you don't deserve to be taxed as much as the people who don't work for their billions of dollars. Yeah, I think that's, that's a reasonable <laughs> perspective, right? All right, so when are you gonna start your podcast, Ben? <laughs> In today's episode of Simply Neological, Ben went on about wealth tax. <laughs> okay, ready? All right, big reveal. Oh, shit. So... It works. It's definitely eaten at the nail polish. <laughs> But my hands are stinging. Like, they feel inflamed. But that's because of your eczema. It, it though, is. Right? Have you talked about the fact that you have eczema before? I have mentioned it before, and that's why this right hand is my other hand, because it's like the ugly hand that has eczema, <laughs> shorter nails. I don't know, one of my fingers is crooked on it. It's just like, 
It's the reject it's hand. It's the reject hand. I have eczema all over here, like on my knuckles, and it gets way worse in the winter. So that's what was stinging. So even though it did start eating away at the regular nail polish, I'm still gonna have to use a cotton pad and nail polish remover to actually get it all off. So it's not really an instant nail polish remover fix. Well, it's certainly not instant. Your hand was in there for like 10 minutes and you're still gonna yeah, need to do stuff to remove it. So it kind of was a waste of time, at least for regular nail polish that you still need to scrub off. So I think if you have multiple layers of polish on, this probably isn't that efficient. But if you have a single layer of gel polish on, it might do what happened to Ben here. <laughs> I mean, you still have to sit your hands in there for like 10 minutes which isn't much different than having to soak your nails in acetone for 10 minutes. So I don't really see any time savings benefit there. You're still being exposed to the acetone. If you really just don't like the feeling of soaking in acetone. You're soaking in like a steam acetone. You're basically the same in thing. acetone vapor yeah. in here anyway. Right? So in conclusion, you could go through this $45 strange machine object, just shove your nails into the pit of darkness and see what happens to remove your nail polish. <laughs> or you could just soak your nails in acetone like every everyone else who removes gel polish does. Or you could use a peely base coat. So what we did on Ben's other hand is put a peely base coat under the gel polish so we could see if you can use Hollow Taco's new peely base coat with gel polish to pop off the peelies. I mean, you already know the answer to this question. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh yeah, we peeling. <laughs> There you go, Peely Base works even with gel polish. Obviously, the gel polish wouldn't have stayed on as long than if you had just used regular gel base sure. coat to anchor it, because the point of a Peely Base coat is that it's easy to take off. See, now these are Peelys that I would save. Oh yeah, should we start my own Peely bag? Can we? <laughs> then I would love that, like couple goals. If you work in like a restaurant, or something. You probably don't want to use this one. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, good idea. <laughs> Waiter, there's a peely in my food. But otherwise, this is cool. I like this because I don't like the feeling of acetone. So if you want to save your peelies, you want to save your nail art. Maybe your school doesn't allow nail polish, and you just want to pop it off and be like, "Ma'am, I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> or maybe you hate acetone. I'm so happy I finally have my own peely base. <laughs> Ben, this is so I'm exciting. Very, I'm very happy. I, for I you. don't know if you <laughs> understand, but like for years I've been peeling off my nails. Ben, I for know. years, look. <laughs> yeah, I've seen. Ben, look. <laughs> for years, Ben. And now I can contribute to Peely Bag with Peely Base. Available now at the link down below. <laughs> also, you're really gonna want Peely Base for Hollow Taco's next collection. Oh. Coming soon, just in time for the Hollow Days. <laughs> Also, if you're looking for some peely base tips and tricks, I'm gonna start making some videos on Hollow Taco's new YouTube channel, so go check that out too. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching, and I'll peel y'all later. Bye!